Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to create our REST request in order to get the uh, coin history. Then we will create our parse step and just take the script that we have in our Excel file sheet and paste it here. And finally, we will test if our request, if it is going to give us some result or not. Okay, so let's get started. So click on the plus button here, look for REST and then give it a title. For connection, select define connection in line. The base URL is the following one. And the second part that you see here this is our resource path and make sure that you drag and drop the data pill right in between coin and history select uh, enable retry policy and select the uh, default HTTP retry policy save all changes Now click on plus again, this time select script and then give it a title. So we will create three input variables. So the first one is going to be status underscore code and drag and drop the data pill and then create a response body and then also drag and drop the response body data pill and then also create coin underscore id data pill and drag and drop the coin id so in here in the script part we are going to just take the script that we have in our Excel file sheet, copy that one and then put it here. So as you can see here, we have eight output variables, coin are, coins are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So we are going to create them, okay? So you can click on create variable and then put out, uh, sorry, coins array A, that's a label. And the name is going to be the same and the type is going to be array.object and then this is our object, so rename it to coins array a object. And now we are going to create our price variable and then also timestamp. Okay, so from now all you need to do is to repeat the same thing for all of the coins so now we are going to create our output variable for our action so it's going to be exactly the same thing. So you create coins array a array object and then you're going to have coins array a object and then price and then timestamp. So 
So you do exactly the same thing for all the coins. So coin array B, C, D, E, F, and G, H. Okay. So now we are done with the action outputs, click on exit edit mode and then just drag and drop all the data pools that you can see in the parse response body historical data step. Okay. Save all changes and then now we are going to test um, our rest request okay so so click on test for example we can we, let's see for for the coin ID number one which is Bitcoin uh, if we get the result or not here we go so we have the result for Bitcoin here So you can test for other coins. So you can put 30 in here and then run test and then see see the result. <laughs> so here we have the result for dash. And then we are going to test for one more coin, <coughs> 59. And we have the result here for chain link. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.